This is the first part in a dealer series on how to integrate a network DVR into a, an existing network. Uh, tools you'll need up front, obviously the DVR needs to be on site, um, customer needs to have a broadband internet, and there needs to be a computer on site that's connected to the same network that you want to be, that you want to connect your DVR to. Uh, the other thing that's kind of important is your connection can't be wireless. It must be a physical cable. These DVRs are not actually Windows machines. To run a wireless connection, you'd have to load the hardware in a computer and then load its driver. Well, these things can't run a driver, so you must use a physical connection. And your physical connection is just a cable. It's an RG45 cable. It actually looks like an oversized phone plug. Uh, and that's all there is to it. The basic is you jack it into the back of the uh, DVR and you jack into the back of the router. Routers come in 4, 8, or 16 port versions. Uh, mostly what you see on residentials or are 4 slot versions. Uh, mostly what you see in business are 8 or 16s. There will likely be another cable, probably way off over here, which is the cable that goes to the modem itself. That's how you're getting your internet connection. One thing that's important to note right now is when you physically jack the cable into the router, whatever port you jack into should have a warning light. That warning light tells you you're making a solid connection to the port. If you're jacking in and your light doesn't come on, there's a problem with the connection. Could be a split cable, could be a nick cable, could be the connector is loose, could be the connector is not making um, all eight pin connections. Troubleshooting usually consists of, generally speaking, usually just reach crimp the ends first. That's your most likely, uh, and then after that, start looking for. Um, nicks in the cable. But that's how to make the physical connection. So that's the actual first step.